What's going on everyone? In this video, we'll be going over the SAT March exam that's coming up right, for both digital SAT test takers and non-digital SAT test takers. The March exam is almost here. It's about two weeks away. I know you guys are probably stressing out. Oh my God, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Well, in this video, I'm going to save you guys. So first things first, this is the first SAT of the new year, right? Now, new SAT, 2023, new problems. But the thing is, guys, even though there's new problems, new characters, new passages, the patterns are the same. The tips are the same, the tricks are the same, the strategies are the same. So if you took an SAT, let's say in the last three to four months, whatever you were learning, whatever you were practicing, let's say you got the score you wanted to, or you almost got it, right? Keep on doing that. Keep on practicing that same stuff because yes, the SAT has you know new things, new problems, because it's gonna have to, right? You can't use the same problems over and over again. Even though in the past, SAT has reused problems. They have done them. But most likely you're going to face like majority new problems. So just follow the same patterns, tips and tricks and strategies I've been talking about in all my videos in my two courses. Check the link in the description below for my math and reading course. Just check them out and just reuse these same patterns because that's all you need to really get a high score on the SAT. And now what I talked about earlier, how the college board likes to reuse problems. So the thing with college board is sometimes, let's say it's 2022, right? They use, I think, June 2021 SAT problems. And not not a lot, but like one or two. That's what and there's a whole Reddit thread about it. There's a lot of information about it. And there's other cases where people have said, hey, this problem has been used before on an earlier SAT exam, which is kind of crazy. Like, come on, college board. You guys can make new SAT problems for every exam. You guys have like one million employees or something. But the idea is if you you know take uh, past exams as practice, let's say you take a 2021 release SAT exam, 2022, there's a possibility that you might be doing the same problem again on this upcoming March SAT exam, which is good for you because it rewards you. Because let's say you're you're practicing and you're doing all these different practice tests. Now you might be given the same problem. If you've done the problem before, you know the way out, you know, you see the light, you know how, exactly how to do this problem and get a high score on that problem, right? Or get the problem right. So high score on the exam. This will actually help you. So this like also goes into like, you wanna keep taking on taking practice tests and not just the ones that you find on your college board website, but try to dig around Google, find ones that have been released, um, some scans, anything that can possibly help you practice for the SAT, right? These are all old exams. This isn't like cheating. This isn't anything bad because this is just, it's out there. It's on Google, right? You can, you can look for it. So be sure to check those out. Now, the next thing is to develop a strong study routine. All right. If you're studying like, like randomly, let's say you study an hour in the morning, uh, two hours a night, and then you don't study for three more days. And then the fourth day you study again for like five, six hours. And you don't study for a week and you study again for two hours. This isn't going to help you, right? Yes, you're gonna get some information, but since you're not repeatedly studying over a consistent pattern, your brain is just gonna lose it. It's just gonna boom, fall out, and you're gonna end up with no SAT knowledge or barely any. If you really wanna retain the information you're learning and actually improve your ST master, improve your ST reading score, right? Then you want to study consistently. And trust me guys, creating a strong study routine isn't hard. All you have to really do is block your reading and math exams. So let's say, or practicing. So let's say you do two days math, Take one day break and two days reading, one day break, practice exam. Two days math, one day break, two days reading, break, practice exam. Now, given the SAT is like two weeks away, so honestly, you should not be taking any uh, rest days. What you should be doing is actually this, is you do two days reading, two days math, two days reading, two days math, practice exam. Two days reading, two days math, practice exam. And actually, because it's two weeks away, I want you to take at least two to three practice exams every single week, okay? because you want to ex be exposed to those problems. Because at the end of the day, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. We hear all the time, right? So I want you guys to do as many practices as you can, but at the same time, you want to actually study the topics, study the subjects, right? Watch like the lecture videos if you have my course or watch my YouTube videos and then take a practice exam. There's no point spamming practice exams, like just taking three in a row or four in a row, one every day. You're not really giving your brain time to like assert information and take on knowledge and learn and understand new concepts and break things down and actually you know take it in you're just giving it like the final problem the final exam that's just like gonna hurt your brain right you want your brain's like a sponge right but it takes time to soak in all the information so don't just take practice exams every single day i've seen students do it and i just don't know why also it's like three hours and you really want to spend three hours every single day on top of your studying taking a practice exam like that's crazy you do not want to burn yourself out. And my last tip, and this is kind of a selfish tip, but it's true, all right? It's, it's been proven to help students. Students have come to me so many times saying, oh my God, my score is improved 200, 300 points. I've got a perfect score. That's the binge watch, guys. These YouTube videos, they're out there. They're free. You guys can watch these videos for free, right? Binge watch these videos to you know improve your score, to like learn more information. I have so many SAT videos 
people come at me for like saying the same things over and over again guys there's not much left to say first of all new students also come so they haven't heard this before but the same tips tricks and patterns apply throughout the years which is why you like the same stuff that i said maybe two years ago still applies to this day and let's say you don't want to go through all my videos you don't want to go through like uh, probably, i don't know how many videos i have maybe a thousand and then check out my sd math and sd reading course right there's a discount on both of them and a, a further discount if you buy them together as a bundle so check that out and it will literally take you such a long way all right because that's like that's like 14 hours for reading and math together combined that's all you need to get a like perfect score and of course practice on your own time but that's it and that's how you master the sat march exam that's coming up in two weeks if you guys learn from this video be sure to like comment subscribe peace Thank you.